Hello and welcome to another weekly mod showcase. Today's first mod is Unlimited Sprint Out of Combat by Red X Yeti. This one, basically sprinting does not drain your attack power as long as you're not in combat for a small quality of life update that should work with the new update. This mod author says this mod does exactly what you'd expect. Removes AP drain from sprinting as long as you're not in combat. For me, the mod author, it's a quality of life thing. If you think it's too strong, don't download it. It should work with a new update and there are no scripts. So it's always a good thing. No scripts is good. Don't need that bogging down. And hey, I mean, it's cool. I probably won't use it, but hey, I mean, a lot of people feel like sprinting around the Commonwealth. It's cool. I just like taking my time, enjoying the scenery and seeing what's to explore. But if you like that, hey, it's definitely cool. It works good. So go check it out. This next one is Classic Nuka Cola Machine by Pine Dog. This one basically replaces the Nuka Cola Machines with a brand new recreation of the Fallout 4 New Vegas version. There are two versions. The replacer one replaces them in the game like this, though you may have the bottle issues. The other one, the non replacer, um, just puts it in the workshop. Now, the replacer version will not work with the new update, but the non replacer version will. So it looks cool. If you like that vintage look, go check it out. And this next one is from, oh, wait, that's me, Polarian1985. So this is one of the mods I made. Um, basically, this one removes the Local Leader 2 from locking down most of the workbenches for crafting because, well, if you're like me and the most people, we don't like to invest in charisma that deep. So this removes that. So you only need Armor 1 for Power Armor. It also has patches for True Perks S7, S7, Vanilla Perks Overall, Hot Diggity, and You Are Exceptional. Just to change a little bit of wording. And this is fully compatible with no patches needed for Perk Up by Spring Heel John. So if you'd like to be able to craft stuff without having to put anything into charisma, go check it out. Um, I think it's a good one. All right, next we have two of them. First one is Diverse Rust Devils by RSM, Triple Zero RSM. It says, despite being a unique raider gang, the Rust Devils do not have their own face pulls. Instead, they call on generic raider face pull. So he basically added 120 faces in there that are reminiscent of generic raiders, but made ample use of the smudge face paint tool to give them their own distinct aesthetic look, which I think, and from what I remember talking to the mod author, kind of reminiscent of like Grease from Robots. So I think it looks really cool. It gives them a nice, unique look that definitely is different than other Raiders. I like that he makes some of them look more unique like that. So it's pretty cool. I definitely enjoy that. And then the second one here is coming up. It's um, Unique Faces, Ivy Rust Devil Commander. So basically, despite being a unique NPC, Ivy, the leader of the Rust Devils, does not have her own unique face. Instead, is drawn at random from a generic raider pool. So this one gives her a unique face that actually looks really cool. I think it looks great. Um, just as a warning, she is in her bra and underwear because apparently when she popped out of the power armor, because I had to force her out of it, she decided she wanted to go like that. So I'm trying to keep camera close, but yeah. I think she looks awesome. Looks like a really tough leader. So yeah, I go check it out. Good looking stuff here. As right, next up we have is Unique Faces, Amoral Combat Challengers. Basically, if you become the overboss and keep the gauntlet open, you eventually get um, challenges and the five unique people that will challenge you, he redid the faces for. This character here, Sabine, is one of them. And um, interesting fact, this originally was going to be the face for Ivy that you just saw, but he decided to change it around. I think it was a good fit. Um, this one up here we have, I believe, is Commander Bear. Then for the Rogue uh, Knight, they have a male and female version, so he basically made a unique face for each version, depending which one spawns. Um, I forgot to show Sabo. He's a, basically a, like, gunner. He's like a gunner-type outfit. Um, this one here, I happen to spawn in the female version of the Brotherhood of Steel Knight. And then this here is Wretch. That is the Raider one. So yeah, adding unique faces to it um, definitely makes them special since they drew on generic faces before. So yeah, he's definitely doing some great stuff with these mods. So i go check it out. All right, and this next one we have here is actually a weapon because it came out right after I made the last weapons video, the gun showcase. So since it came out last week, I'm just going to throw it in this one because it's just one. So this one is the 20 millimeter anti-power armor rifle or PTRD-41. They have the Commonwealth Weapon Expansion by Degenerate DAC. It says a nice, nice power armor counterpoint, 20 millimeter sniper rifle that is a huge round 
So it's a brand new single shot, high powered, anti, it has tank with a slash through it, anti power armor rifle. Over 40 brand new attachments, custom models and textures, custom animations, use of munitions for the 20 millimeter rounds, levelist injected on wasteland bosses after level 50, and one unique found in the glowing sea south of Capsize Factory. So this is a high level end game weapon. It's pretty nifty. So let's go take a look at it. Yeah, so this is the unique. We're gonna look at these like usual. All right, so for receivers, thing looks nice. Basically just a giant tube. Put the ammo in the back. This is a very simple, effective, high powered gun. So you got standard receiver, light frame, heavy frame, calibrated, hardened, powerful, calibrated in advance. So 315 for the most damage. That's pretty crazy. Barrels, you got short barrel, standard barrel, light barrel. Oh, nice. Long barrel. Holy cow, that sucker's long. And a light long barrel. Wow, that is a really long barrel. <laughs> Alright, so for stocks, you have stand no stock. Standard stock. A gunslinger stock, so you get the huge rounds on the back. A marksman stock. And a recoil compensating stock. So... Looks good there. Magazine, you got standard bolt. Light, so standard bolt, lightweight bolt, greased bolt, and calibrated bolt. So it doesn't really change any looks. Scopes, you got standard sights, so like an iron sight. Don't know why you'd use that with this, but okay. You got reflex sight, a hollow sight, short scope, medium scope, long scope, and long night vision scope. So looking good there. So muzzle brake, you got no muzzle brake. Big muzzle brake on the end, a heavy muzzle brake, oh yeah, and a suppressor, so looking good there. Accessories, got a carry handle, a bipod, and carry handle and bipod. And then grips, you got no grip, so no grip there's just metal, you got a wood grip, a comfort grip, and a recoil grip, so pretty basic, but looking good there. So we got two different kinds here. So you know what, I'm going to go ahead and throw... Nah, I don't have any stuff for that, okay. And then this is the unique, the Headhunter. Doubles damage if target is at full health. So it's a silenced, long barrel, marksman, calibrated, anti-power armor rifle with a long scope. So this sucker looks nasty. And it's got so many marks on it. This, yeah, this thing just looks nice. So, all right, so I got some targets of varying range put out so we'll take one or two shots with this one and then we'll go further shot long range with the others so see how they do but yeah this one just has the iron sights i noticed the animations are really slow probably because it's supposed to be such a big gun like everything is slower but yeah, let's see how this sounds holy cow yeah i think it's definitely an anti-power armor it's a huge round Right, let's get this guy. Can we get a headshot? Reminds me a lot of the um, AMAC or A AMAC fifteen hundred, I think it is that somebody else had made. I don't know if it's the same animations. It looks like the same kind of animations as it, so. Alright, we're gonna switch over to the unique real quick for the last couple. Go take a look at the headhunter. So this is a silenced version. I guess uh I guess there's not as much silencing with this guy. If you hear it, it's pretty loud still for silenced. But ooh. Missed him. I guess that would make sense given the situation, so. Got him. Alright. Two more left. Pretty good range. So this thing would just destroy human targets, but then again, I'm assuming 20 millimeter rounds wouldn't be super plentiful. So it's not like you'd be using this on everybody. This would be more against heavy power armor. But then by the time you get to level 50, you've done destroyed most of the power armor or wearing it. So yeah, a little OP for low level, but I guess if you're playing a one with more, so yeah. But yeah, pretty cool, pretty interesting. It sounds nice looks nice um i know they 
did some updates um, past couple of days getting some issues worked out but it looks good so I did update it to the latest version so it looks good so yeah definitely not too shabby there all right well I hope you guys enjoyed this mod review I'm going to leave you with a few pictures here that I've been working on um, retexturing some stuff and I recolored the barricades from like the minute min or minute min. I've recolored the barricades from like the Brotherhood of Steel and the gunners and stuff um, bumped them up to 2k textures just kind of messing around with the normal maps and stuff I don't think it looks too bad so I might end up putting out a sort of a targeted texture type pack in the near future that might help to alleviate some of the more offending textures but yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed this some good mods came out this last week and um yeah so until next time this blorian checking out i will talk to you guys later take care and be safe